This is Larry Hayward, pastor of Westminster Presbyterian Church in Alexandria, Virginia. Yesterday at Safeway, I ran into one of our members whom, like most of our members, I have not seen during this COVID shutdown. I asked her how she was doing, and she said she's fine, that she is painting portraits of her grandchildren and continuing to read and write. She said that she has a cell phone, but she doesn't keep it on and only uses it to watch tours of the great art museums in Europe. She said, I guess you have to have yours on all the time. I said, mine is on all the time, but I don't receive any sounds or notifications or vibrations. So I only consult it when I'm ready to find out who has been trying to reach me. Last week, I listened to a podcast by a literature professor named Alan Jacobs who for many years taught at Wheaton College and now teaches at Baylor. He said two things which have stuck with me and which relate to the conversation with the member I saw in Safeway. The first thing he said is that when we are scrolling on our phones for the latest tweet or breaking news, we're not really living in the present, but we are focused on the future. Because he said, as soon as we receive a piece of information, we want the next piece and then the next. We're perpetually restless, he said, perpetually on edge, waiting for the next piece of breaking news. He quoted a philosopher named Paul Varillo who coined the phrase frenetic standstill. We are frenetic indeed but we're not headed anywhere. Frenetic standstill. Jacobs also said that he'd recently been writing an article in which he had intended to type the phrase, the fire hose of information. A phrase to describe how intently and quickly information comes at us. But instead he accidentally typed the dire hose of information which is an even more apt description of the flood of troubling news we have experienced in 2020, the dire hose of information. I hope over the next few weeks, as COVID has spread now to the White House and the President, as confirmation hearings occur, as an election comes our way and the results become clear whenever they do, as the economy does what the economy will do the climate as well, that we can all manage as often as possible and necessary to carve out a moment of discipline that the member I saw in Safeway has for most of her hours and days. I hope we can live in the present without anxiously awaiting the next piece of breaking news. I hope we can sidestep the fire hose of information and certainly the dire hose of information, even though as responsible citizens, we need to be aware of it and be a part of taking appropriate action. I hope we can be less frenetic and experience some forward progress. I hope we can take the time to stop, take a deep breath, say a prayer, gaze at a star or a cloud formation, watch the leaves fall, look into the eyes of someone we love, read an old book or an ancient song as often as we can, as often as we need. Be still and know that I am God, the psalmist writes. Be still and no, be still. Amen.